we got a very special guest on the Life by Wisdom uh, hotline line right now, and Coach Doug, I want you to introduce our very special guest on the show today. Yeah, you know, I'd like to introduce Devin Johnson, played at Marshall University, born and raised in West Virginia, so you know my heart always goes out to anybody born and raised in Mattel County. In West I already Virginia. know, Coach. I already know. <laughs> Ain't nothing love for him, but anyway. I already know. Uh, just <laughs> but what I want to do is just uh, take time out and thank uh, Devin for coming on. Uh, I know he has a busy schedule. So without further ado, Devin Johnson. Uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate you having me on. We appreciate you definitely coming on. Um, we know you got a lot going on, and and um, so we'll just get right into it. We basically cater to a younger audience, youth in high school, so we always like to ask our guests about their first experience with the game of football. You know, how did you get involved with football? How did you develop that love for the game? You know, I was, it was just when I was younger, around seven years old, you know, I didn't really want to play. I wanted to play basketball. You know, my dad was always been a great football player, and he just pushed me onto it. And then, you know, the first day of practice, I put the pads on, and ever since then, I fell in love with it. I mean, that's that's pretty much pretty much cut and dry. I mean, very similar stories to pretty much all of us here on this on this uh, show. Just the love affair with the game started really early. So, did you always know, as you know, as far as running back, that that's what you wanted to do, or did you start out playing different positions until you kind of fell into your niche? You know, I was, I was more of a you know linebacker at first, and then. You know, a couple of players on offense growing up on the major league, you know, got hurt. So it was like, Devin, you want to try to run the football? I was like, yeah, okay. So, you know, I'll do whatever help the team win. And so uh, my first carry, first game, they put me in there and I took it 60 yards. And I stayed coming back to me after the game. It was like, you found your home. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been doing it. I mean, and then so, so talk about that transition. What was that transition like, dominating on the youth? Uh, level on the youth level and then getting into high school when did you really know that hey man I can play with these boys did you come in as a freshman knowing you you, you were the man or did you have to work into it a little bit when you got to high school yeah I had to work into it you know I started by the I, I didn't start until like the second game of the season um, you know I just got in there and you know, when I got my opportunity you know I shine you know I know the coaches you know coming in as a freshman and you're great or good, they always want you to work for it, and and when you get your chance, they want you to shine. So that's what I try to do. You know, I got my opportunity. I went in and I shined, and every since then I started. And then it was my probably my sixth game of my freshman year. You know, I had like five touchdowns, and that's when I really realized I was like, you know, I'm, you know, this is good if I just knuckle down and you know just stay in the books, you know, everything I can go for. For the game, absolutely. Now, after a great high school career, the recruiting process for you talk talk to us about that. Um, how was it? Were you heavily recruited? Um, why did you ultimately end up at Marshall? Well, you know, I'm originally from West Virginia, and um, and I just started getting. I I got my first offer my sophomore year from after my sophomore year at from Virginia University of Virginia. And, I, you know, I went up there, I took a visit, you know, I liked all the coaches, and they seemed cool, but and then I ended up going to uh, Marshall, and they offered me, and I went up there, and, you know, it just felt like it was at home and everything, and I had colleges coming at me, wanting me to go to their camps my junior year from Alabama, sending me camp forms and everything, but after I took my visit with Marshall, you know, I kind of committed, and, you know, they really didn't come after me like that, and then I had a few actually come and offer me afterwards. So of course I was there late my senior year. And um but you know, I was just saw it on Marshall, really loved it. Loved Coach Holiday and the coaching staff he had and I was all about Marshall. So, you know, I I, I kept with him and then, you know, at the end of the day the good Lord bless me. Absolutely, absolutely. You go on to Marshall, um, have a great career there and we, we all know that the the, the learning curve from youth football to high school football to, to college football, I mean, is really night and day. Some, I mean, some would say they're almost different games, the way they're played and the speed and so forth. Um, when did you get acclimated to the college game and realize, A, I belong here, and maybe I got a shot at the NFL? 
It was probably after my uh, freshman year. You know, uh, my freshman year, I was, I mean, I was up there making plays and stuff at practice, but, you know, I definitely uh, did my part on special teams most of my freshman year. And, you know, I was on special teams, you know, and I tried to be the best player on special teams. And, you know, I went out there and I, when my number was called, I made a play. So it was probably after my freshman year when I realized, like, hey, I can do it. I got the confidence built into me. My freshman year is over. i nervous. All that's over with. So it was probably after my freshman year when I realized, like, hey, if I really just work hard and stay in a weight room and, you know, just stay out of trouble, I can really be a great player. Now, when when you were young, did you – did was the NFL, was that like a dream? Was that an aspiration of yours? It, it was, and I think that was, you know, that's mostly everybody. But um, growing up, I really didn't uh, watch too much football. And, uh, you know, I was more of an outside kid that – you know, like to play pickup ball and didn't like being in the house that much. But um, I say around my junior high, middle school days, uh, when I really, like, wanted to play in the NFL. And that's when I was like, I want to play, you know, and had coaches. And now everybody tell me, like, you got the ability to play. It's just up to you. And that's when I really wanted to, you know, make it to the next level. So, I mean, you're 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 preparing for – uh, life after college, uh, preparing for the NFL, preparing for, you know, the draft. Talk about that part of, of this this part when it starts to become a business and you start to realize that. Yeah, it, it was, you know, just, you know, you're flying here, you're going here, and, you know, you really don't have enough time to work out and train really like that. And definitely if you're coming off the season with an injury like I was, you're more rehabbing during the time that you are trying to, that you are able to train. And it's all hectic and, you know, you just flying places, you're going here, you're going there, you really don't have a chance to sit back and just rest for a minute. You're always on the grind. And that was the biggest thing, you know, that was like so difficult, but at the end of it with the combine and all that, you know, it's going to be tough, you know, it's going to be, you're going to be up at 5 in the morning I get done until 11 for a week, but, you know, you just got to embrace it because it's an opportunity that most kids and, you know, most people don't get. So, you know, whoever ever has the opportunity to, you know, do this and be a part of this process, just embrace it because, you know, it's a dream, and and that's what I try to do, and, you know, that's what a lot of people tell me, just embrace it. People have went through it. Just embrace it, and that's all I try to do. So the Carolina Panthers... Have have you met Cam Newton yet? Yeah, I've met Cam Newton. <laughs> right. So I mean, we we actually had the pleasure of of doing a camp with him um, in San Diego. Um, the guy is he's a big kid, loves football. Um, talk about you know the opportunity of playing with a guy like Cam Newton. Oh, it's, it's going to be great. You know, just being around him during OTAs and you know mini camp. I mean, he's a great guy. He's the the in, in, energy he brings to practice and and into you know to us. I mean, it's crazy and how his leadership is and how he just talks to everybody and you know give everybody go and pushes people. And you know, and it's gonna be a privilege. You know, if I make a fifty three man roster and just be a part of you know the camp show, it's gonna be an honor. <laughs> Well, definitely, we we are definitely rooting for you. Um, you know, just reading your bio, reading some things about you. Um, great young man. I'm really looking forward to it. I know I'll be watching, and, you know, Coach Duck will definitely be watching. So, I mean, next time I'm out in Carolina, um, just show me where – I mean, I don't know what you can eat, though. I don't know what kind of, what kind of diet they got on you. Whatever it is you can eat, take me there, and we're going to talk about it, man, have a meal together, all right? All right, sounds good. All right, Coach Duck, you got anything for this young man before we let him go? Yeah, yeah my last thing for De- Devon is that, hey, you you talked about not being in the house. Well, if you're from West Virginia, like I'm from West Virginia, you didn't want to stay in the house because you had all <laughs> kind of chores to do, uh, Coach D. So, uh, Devin, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah, that is true. You didn't want to stay in the house. And, you know, well, if you stay in the house, your parents will make sure you have something to do so you better get out of the house. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, luckily you stayed you stayed uh, outside and 
played your way uh, to the Carolina Panthers, and um, we're going to really, really enjoy watching the journey. Um, we definitely got to have you back on after the season to talk about, you know, what that first year was like in the NFL. We'd love to have you back. Thanks so much, Devin Johnson, for coming on the show. And thanks for having me. I'll be looking forward to the next time I speak with y'all. We just had a great baller on the show, undrafted free agent out of Marshall University, Devin Johnson, running back for the Carolina Panthers. You're listening to the National Sports Report on the NSR Sports Network. I'm going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 